ASH 2015 coverage continues. I'm Thomas Baldrick, joined now by Dr. Paul Richardson from the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Thank you, sir. I know it's a busy day for you. Thank you, and it's my pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for inviting me. Let's show the people how I can just say one word and it'll make your day. Defibrotide. <laughs> That's very kind of you. Yeah, um, it's a very, it's a, it's a, it's a drug that's very dear to our heart at Dana Farber um, because we developed it from the very beginning with the intent of reversing a deadly complication of bone marrow transplant called venoocclusive disease or sinusoidal obstruction syndrome, also known as SOS, uh, appropriately because 80% um, uh, plus mortality from the severe syndrome with no effective therapies. So. We started with the premise that um, defibrotide targets endothelial damage and by reversing endothelial damage puts us into a position to start to shut down the fundamental pathophysiologic steps that build to VOD. And we started this program clinically, developed further laboratory collaborations to further validate that the mechanism was correct. Uh, and it's been a true international partnership of investigators in the bone marrow transplant community working together um, to actually bring this agent to its promise. And we've been blessed with some very good partnerships with the original pharma companies involved from Gentium at the beginning uh, through to uh, now Jazz. And we're now in a position where we believe not only do we already have European approval, so the drug is available outside of the US, um, but we're very hopeful in the next few months that uh, uh, US approval will be forthcoming and in that context um, be able to open the doors to access to the defibrotide across the country. Now, let me explain it. It is available through an expanded access program, but the most important thing to share with, uh, with viewers today is that um, Defibrotide has been shown in a series of studies now to be highly effective in reversing um, VOD SOS um, and has been shown in a prophylactic trial in Europe um, to benefit high risk children who are at high risk of this complication. Um, so we're very pleased with how it's, uh, it's, it's panning out. Not only does the drug appear to uh, reverse VOD SOS uh, in a significant proportion of patients and improve mortality, um, but it also has secondary effects that we're exploring, including the reduction of graft versus host disease. As you sit here now, knowing this began as a pro bono effort, yeah. you bring new data here to ASH. Um, what comes to mind most is most satisfying and most important for other people to know? Well, I think most satisfying is it's a well-tolerated drug. It's an agent that uh, is a natural product that targets endothelial damage. Uh, it therefore has a strong scientific background to its use. Um, it's an agent which um, we hope in the future will have a broad applica applicability to a number of hematologic and oncologic indications because the endothelium is such a critical uh, structure in the human body and so vital to so many processes and I think in that same context what's most gratifying is to have a complication in transplant that is essentially generated by the transplant itself that can be absolutely deadly and for a clinician for your patient to succumb to something that you've essentially done there's nothing worse so I think to have that opportunity to reverse that syndrome uh, in the context of a novel biologic well-tolerated and effective agent, um, you know, is frankly about as good as it gets. Thank you. We'll leave it there. We just climbed the mountain. We'll leave it there. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you, you for you your very time. Much. Appreciate it and congratulations. It's my pleasure. Thank you.